You'd have to be an idiot to not make a YouTube video about Elden Ring right now. The TM Celebrity Train Layouts DVD set, presented here in all its sun-bleached glory, is so proud to feature celebrities it stretches the word to near illegibility. It reminds me of those optical illusions you need to tilt in order to read. Part 1 is Frank Sinatra, and you might be wondering, how on earth did they get the Sultan of Swoon? And that's easy. With a seance. His grave was inscribed with, the best is yet to come, which was a lie. Like how the DVD box claims that this has a 40 minute runtime, despite only being 32 minutes long. Since old Blue Eyes himself isn't here to talk about his train set, we're treated to an interview with a man who recalls a time when someone he knew took Frank Sinatra's miniature train order over the telephone. They say you should never meet your heroes, and they didn't. So let's take a look at these trains, and uh, oh, a boat called the Robert E. Lee, huh? Well, it probably doesn't mean anything. Stop pretending things mean things. They don't. This video is mostly just the Sinatra wiki read out over footage of his home and sometimes trains. But then suddenly you'll get really specific subcontractor information concerning the construction of the cabinets that how's the wooden train gifted to Sinatra by the Vatican? Your offertary dollars at work, folks. The voiceover mentioned Sinatra had a girl's train, and I wondered what that was, and then this hot pink locomotive came around the corner. Turns out in 1957, they hoped to sell toy trains to girls using fashionable pastel colours, while leaving the man-sized fright pulling to the boys. Is Man-sized really the angle you want to go on when selling a Will Toy Twain? Hop on everyone, it's man-sized! If the soothing din of electric trains isn't relaxing enough, why not add this coal loader? Or the log loader that works almost all the time? Before we move on, please enjoy this peek behind the curtain from the DVD audio commentary. What I want to talk about right now is the very next shot, which includes a crossing signal. It had a problem. Uh, the lamp on the right was not operating correctly uh, for whatever reason. And so in post-production, I cut and pasted the lamp on the left and placed it over the lamp on the right and delayed that by about 10 frames so that it was flashing correctly. If you look at that shot again, you'll see, look closely at the right lamp, you'll see a little. Up next is Tom Snyder's train lay. Oh, whoa! And if you think that 3D text was good, check this graphic. Yo! Once again, the runtime is a lie, and most of it is spent on Tom desperately trying to defend his decision to have standard gauge scale toy trains running next to realistic model surroundings. He even says he's crazy that way. Is this Tom Snyder's train layout or the Joker's? When putting this train layout together, Tom Snyder, or should I say the man Tom Snyder paid to do the actual work, used old broken model railroad parts to make a little scrapyard and repair shop, which I thought was really creative and, dare I say, cool. But then Tom started complaining about the different kinds of latches used to connect carriages and I sat back down again. When are we going to see celebrity Gumpla layouts? I want to see Urban's Gustav Karl, Vigo's Dreisen, Lil Nas Turn X. Tom begins to get a little over eager and says that not only can toy trains compete with the wham bam of video games, but that they're romantic, intimate, and sexy. <coughs> no, Tom, don't say the trains are sexy. Don't say that. Now, you'll make me cross with you now. Get me out of my sight. Give me someone else. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You played with my trains. Prepare to die. 
The Mandy Patinkin video opens with him explaining why his wife needs to fucking back off already because yes, the trains are expensive, but you wanted that couch and look, it's not like I'm buying classic cars like Jay Leno, can't I just enjoy my little choo-choos? They aren't hurting anyone like Jay Leno and his cars. And fair enough. If you want to spend $300 on an official barrel loader that throws barrels about like Donkey Kong's been shot in the eyes with a paintball gun, that's your business. Oh, and before you ask, the box says the runtime is 45 minutes, which is the biggest lie since Stonehenge. The most impressive stuff on Patinkin's layout is everything other than the trains. A lot of it was custom built, inspired by and named after family members. There's even a custom built carnival and diner where a miniature Mark Zuckerberg is going buck wild smoking brisket again. There's also a podium with speakers which play pre-recorded speeches by all the greats. Asnabel, Begina, Daikon, Comet. Patinkin describes children's dreams as being like giant redwoods. Then we cut to trees being logged, fed into the machine and emerging as uniform planks of wood, which speaks volumes. He then calls collecting model trains a big boy blankie of support before looking distant. Well, my feet are getting cold, emotionally speaking, so give me some of that blanket. I don't have model railway money, but I think I still have a Lego train up here somewhere. Oh yeah, I'll check the big bucket. Ah yes, here we are. Oh look! It's a big polo from when they started selling the middle bit, and people were worried they were drugs. Hi, sorry, I just realized that this was not a container for polo holes. It was actually a packet of polo super mints, which were just smaller but stronger polos. But polo holes are sold in this big plastic polo in India, so there, now there's no need to have an argument about polos in the comments, o unless it drives up engagement, in which case the gloves are off, go wild. Uh, why not Why not let me know what's your favorite discontinued polo product? Uh, let me know in the comments, I'd, I'd love, love to hear about it. So I found all the track parts, a Professor Wito troll, a Space Jam serial toy, but not the controller that actually makes the train go around, so that was a bust. I might have to go off grid and use the wooden train, which, as far as I know, was not a gift from the Vatican. <laughs> look at this old card I made. You know, there was a time when this is how everyone in Ireland drew people. Thanks, Don. Right, let's get this Brio set up. Huh, look, I drew a man tied to the tracks and uh, af afraid to die. I was always funny. And there you go. Maybe not as arousing as Tom Snyder's train layout, but still, this is pretty nice, right? But if your thirst for train action hasn't been sated by this, check out Christmas Trains 2 or 3 or Unstoppable by Tony Scott. Try to count how often Denzel Washington is filmed using this arc shot, but do not make it a drinking game, you'll die. <laughs>